Hey, what's going on, guys? It's here. Back in the video, and today we have a new device and a new creative update for the new season because it just came out today. So we have a new device for a new season. <laughs> um, so it's actually really simple and easy to use. Um, so I'm gonna teach you guys how to use it. You find a creative. It won't take too long. It's really easy. So let's go. So as you can see right behind me, this is the whole device. It is called the Level Instance Device. Okay, and so just to test it out, I just put a few walls in here, and um, so yeah, I just put once you once you, you know, whatever you're gonna put in here, find uh, something that looks like this, something like an arrow kind of thing, right? What you're gonna do is you're going to select this. Oh, I'm very sorry. So the settings, select this, copy it, and let's put it like right over here, okay? So put it far from it, and if you put it down. The whole entire thing shows back up. So, whatever you copy from this, same thing, same exact thing, will also pop up right here. So, let's look at this. Oh, yeah. Um, if you, let's say you, oh, I don't know, update this, uh, like put something new in here, that'll, this, that thing will update too. Same thing if you go over here and update this too. Like put a new wall in it or something. See that? That'll so they'll both update if you update one if you update another. So let's go into the settings. These are really important settings. Uh you can make the edit state editable or locked. If you put it on locked, you cannot edit it like if you or you can edit it, but it won't edit the actual like other level. So if you had like two in there, you will, you know. And then if level instance name, uh you can rename it. You can rename your level. I was playing with it and stuff. Uh if you go into a new level instance, right? You can like Press this and this will make a new level. Uh, let's go into a new level instance though. Let's go to this one. Press OK. As you can see, this one, well, I made it locked, but this one is a whole new level. You can put whatever you want in it. I'm going to change it back to edible. Uh, and then you can change the width, the depth, and the height. I think you can put them all up to 7. So it'll be, it can be 7 by 7 if you put them all by 7. Uh, let's go down. You can enable a game start or, or not. Uh, you can the content the content collection you can make it either creative or the block 2.0 So let's actually check what it'll be like. Hold on. Let me put it on first thing Let's put it on the block 2.0. It'll, it'll show this so changing the content collection may result in some props being removed from the level instance Let's confirm it. So It'll probably look a little different I guess I guess they're both the same level. So if you make it to the block, it'll look like the block um, I'll, I'll just change it back to creative though. From that, there we go. All right, now, I'm, yeah. So, if you you're gonna you can enable it when receiving from or receiving from. So I'm gonna show you how to actually use this part. So, if you don't have enabled on game start, so let's turn it off. Real, let's turn that uh, off real quick. And I'm gonna put my walls back. So, on my walls, uh, I'll probably update that one. So let's just put all my walls in here. Um, blah blah blah, like this. Okay, so now you have all your walls, okay? Uh, once you've done that, uh, we can put enable when receiving from on channel one, if you're, not, if you're not using any channels right now, and you put disable when receiving from on channel two, right? So, for demonstration, let's get a uh, trigger, all right? Let's get a trigger. All right, let's just switch it up. Let's get a trigger, put it right here. All right. So let's put the trigger down right here. And put another one right here. And let's edit them. Let's put uh, this one on one trigger transmit on channel one. And this one on channel two. Okay. So now you have this. Make sure you double check to make sure that the enabled enable a game start is off. Okay. Because if that's on, it won't work. So let's actually start the game. Okay, so now, as you can see, this thing is gone. It's literally just disappeared. But if you go on to channel one, it'll appear. And then if you go on channel two, it'll disappear just like that. It's really easy. So it's like a, I guess kind of like a barrier thing that makes things like invisible and then you can make it in like visible and stuff like that. So. Yeah, that's how you do that. All right, guys, and that is how you use the level instance device in Fortnite Creative. This device is actually really helpful for when you want to uh, 
select multiple props and not like have to literally select each and every single one of them like this all the time uh it's really really helpful for this device really really helpful so i hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial make sure to like subscribe turn on notifications if you miss a video and yeah i will see you guys in the next one peace out